What's up, fellow collectors? Welcome back to the MIB Master Toy Museum. I'll be your curator today. Guys, I'm hanging out down here in the museum on a rainy Friday outside of the, the museum here. And... Just checking out some of my action figures. And it got me to thinking, guys. I do some of my best thinking here at the museum. Especially after a cup of coffee. I was looking at some action figures. Checking some action figures out. And all of these action figures has a common thread. A... Uh, common denominator, if you will. They're connected to one, one individual. That individual's name is uh, Paul Clark. Uh, Dr. Migo, as he's known in the collected communities. Uh, Dr. Migo's work spans uh, decades as testament to all of these figures here from the um, MC Toys, Star Trek, Gorn, to the Doctor Who figures, the suit tech, to the retro action DC superheroes from Mattel, all the way to Commander X, The brainchild of, of J. Piscopo, but parts and pieces, everything material wise, from Dr. Migo. The Biff Bang Pow, six million dollar man, Bigfoot. All developed parts and pieces from Dr. Migo, Paul Clark. And your average collector would never really know that. Now, if you're in the in real tight with the collecting com Migo collecting communities and stuff, you probably wouldn't know that. But we want to pay a little homage, a little uh, respect to Dr. Migo. Because he played a big part, guys, in getting Migo back in mainstream. And what I mean by that, guys, is that you're looking at toys here that literally kept the Migo bloodline flowing for decades. It kept kids from the 1970s that are now adults interested in these retro style toys that we had when we were kids or we wanted to have when we were kids. And we really owe that to, to Paul Clark. Um, he has... Uh, engineered this this movement, if you will, of retro style eight inch action figures that gave us the flavor of Mego figures, and he did that until. And he's still doing that, guys. I mean, you can, he has a, a website. You can check his website out. Where you can, if, if you, you, you are missing a part or you, you need a body or you need a, a head or whatever, an arm, leg, whatever, <laughs> for your action figures, guess what? You can go to Dr. Migo's website and purchase that stuff. 
But now we have Mego back, guys. And I know we're, uh, we're, we're caught up in wanting certain figures from different waves and things like that. But we don't stop sometimes to smell the coffee and just to realize how much work goes into putting together an action figure. And appreciating that figure and the people that that brought it to us. And Paul Clark has brought us some fantastic action figures. We just kind of want to say thanks to uh, Dr. Migo. I had the pleasure of meeting him uh, in person at uh, last year's uh, Migo Meet, 2019 Migo Meet. And Paul makes himself available um, on Migo Ambassador all the time. It's, he's always uh, chiming in to, you know, to talk about um, different posts and things of that nature. To get a chance to talk to Paul, talk talk to him, ask him questions. You know, guys, this is uh, another cool thing about having uh, Migo back now. Uh, we are front and center with the people that actually create these beautiful figures. We can actually talk to the people that are responsible for the product. I can't do that at Mattel. I can't do that with Hasbro. Can't do that. So for all of um, Migos problems with Target and all those, you know, with all the the uh, alleged issues or whatever. They're relatively a small company, you know. But they are very talented in who they have on their staff. And Dr. Migo is They say he uh, he's um Oh my goodness. He, he's more of a consultant but I think he's much more than that. He obviously means much more to Migo than just a consultant. I'm sure he, he has a lot more say than that. But it's that imagination, it's that creativity, uh, it's, it's the Migo movement that Dr. Migo created and kept alive for decades to give us these wonderful action figures. And as a collector, I am extremely grateful for that. Guys, your thoughts, your opinions, do you have any of these figures? Are there any more figures that I, I don't have on the stage? I couldn't get everything on the stage, um, but I'm sure there, there's some more figures I didn't put. But are there any more figures I might have forgotten that actually uh, Dr. Dr. Migo produced? I know there are some figures. Uh, from uh, Brick Matu uh, Mantooth. I think there's a Canadian uh, superhero, I believe, that Dr. Migo created as well. Not the character so much as he he had the, you know, the action figure. He created the action figure.
I'm sure I'm forgetting a ton. Uh, that's how long Dr. Migo, his, uh, his influence on this uh, toy, toy industry and hobby spans. When we wanted Star Trek figures, he gave us Star Trek figures. Now, Paul Clark is the first one to actually make the Gorn to the 1966 TV series likeness. This figure will, late, will later be duplicated in twenty. Uh, was it twenty eighteen um, for Migos return with the Star Trek figures? One of my favorite DC superheroes, uh, Mattel superheroes, is the Martian Manhunter. I would have loved to seen this toy line continue. Guys, your thoughts, your opinions. We're just sitting here and we're um, looking at all of these fantastic action figures that are directly connected to Dr. Migo in some form or another. And being a museum, once again, I said I, I collect uh, history. I, I collect memories. And uh, Dr. Migo, uh, Paul Clark, is, is a huge part of the history of of Migo. He's intertwined to such a degree now you couldn't possibly separate him. You couldn't separate the two. Here was a guy that refused to allow Migo to die. By giving us Replicas of our childhood favorites. And so he's worked with a lot of people. Like I said, um, Jay Piscopo, uh, another, uh, he's a fantastic artist and a visionary as well, came up with the, the line of the comic book line of Commander X with the action figures. Who did he turn to? He turned to Dr. Migo to create, or I should say to breathe life into these characters from comic book form to action figure form. We're looking here at the Bullet Knight, which is one of my favorite Commander X figures love that helmet right there my suit tech is another one of my favorites and I don't have all of the the new Mego figures here you can, you can see some in the background but um, because that's more present that's where we're at we just kind of want to show you where we came from uh, in regards to the dedication and hard work of Dr. Migo. And I call this the Dr. Migo effect. J. 
just paying thanks, guys. Giving respect where, where respect is due. So we'll leave it there. Hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did. You know the routine, guys. God bless. and keep collecting.